Are you an H-body guy who had your hood cable break? We're fixing it this time on Burnouts and Rotor Blades. Roll the intro. Welcome to the Burnouts and Rotor Blades YouTube channel. Let's go do something awesome. If you've been an H-body guy for any length of time, you may be at least aware of the problem with these with the hood latch cable. It breaks, it sticks. Sorry about the wardrobe change, but whenever I filmed this video initially, I forgot that you're probably here because your hood latch cable has already broken and you need to get your hood open. Way back when these cars were new, Chevy actually sold a tool that you could buy and slide through the 7th, 8th, or 9th slot in the cowl through this header panel and then use it to actuate the lever on the bottom side of the hood release cable. Since these tools aren't easily available anymore, I'm going to show you how to precision bend some junk you have laying around in the garage for this purpose. We'll start off by chucking up an 18 inch or so long piece of round bar into the vise and bending a 45 ish degree angle bend in it on one end and a 90 degree ish bend on the other end. My rod was a little bit too wide to fit in the slot, huh? so I went ahead and ground some of it off. Oh no! Just make sure it fits without scraping the paint. The distance between the handle and the business end is going to be six and a quarter inches with the bend starting around the four and three quarters of an inch mark. And the distance from the base to the tool end is going to be four inches on the money, so we'll go ahead and cut down the handle to the same. The only material recommendation that I'll make is that it's small enough to fit through the hood cowl slots and strong enough to actuate the hood release latch. For those of you guys that have never had to use one of these, it's probably still a good idea to make one and have it hanging around. The reason that we made this measurement the way that we did was so that you can just open your glove box in case it ever happens to you. Now let's go ahead and get this thing painted up and make it look presentable so we can store it in here and uh, then we'll move on to replacing that beat cable that failed on us in the first place. One option whenever yours breaks is to use a new old stock replacement piece or something out of the junkyard but why bother? A guy named Michael, who you can easily find on the H-Body forums, will make you a brand new one. And uh, mine just showed up today. Okay, came in my bag was a Ziploc baggie with the cable that he made just for me and instructions. Let's have a look at the cable. The new cable looks nice and very professionally made. The old cable, however, well, it's seen better days. The cable housing shows that part of it's broken so that it no longer stays in its little clip the way it's supposed to. And you can tell that this one's been repaired because the little ball end has been replaced by a temporary one. Removal is very simple and gone over in depth in the instructions included with the new cable. You remove the ball from the little V and the latch, undo the two clips under the hood, make sure you set those aside because we'll need those later. Got about six feet of bailing wire here. Let's take this thing. We want to wrap the bailing wire around the end of the cable so that it doesn't kink the cable, but also so that when we pull the old hood latch release cable through the car, it drags the bailing wire with it so that whenever we go to reinstall the new hood latch release cable, it's as simple as pulling the bailing wire back up through the route that it came. A little bit of electrical tape will ensure that none of the wire catches on anything as it passes through the car. After disconnecting it at both ends and wrapping the bailing wire with electrical tape, some gentle pressure will... I said gentle pressure. Some gentle pressure is all it takes to pull the wire back through the car. Remove the vent kick panel out from underneath the dash for a little more access if you need it. It'll really aid in reinstalling the new cable, so I highly recommend it. Above the kick panel, the hood release cable passes through a grommet in the body of the car. If that grommet's not there or if it's not functioning properly, it's very common that water will drip down onto your leg while you're driving in the rain. The previous owner obviously had a problem with this, judging by the vast amount of RTV that they used to plug up this hole. I didn't have the exact size grommet that's required to get this hood release cable through the sheet metal. I did, however, have some firewall plugs that I cut to size and seemed to work pretty well. That's enough of that. We'll fasten the new hood latch release cable to the bailing wire the same way we did the old one, making sure that it's oriented in the proper direction, and then gently this time, pull it up to the top of the car using our bailing wire. Remember how I said removing that kick panel would provide a little bit of access and help later? Well, you're welcome. 
I found that if your arms are long enough, you can feed the cable in from the bottom with one hand and pull the bailing wire up to the top with the other hand. It's not easy. It'd be way easier with two people. We'll start by installing everything down below. First, separate your jam nuts a little bit, just enough that you can slide it into the hood latch bracket. After tightening the jam nuts, then slide your ball end into the hood release arm. Then we'll move up to the top and install the ball into the cable into the Vegas cable latch. Next, it's important to set these clips, which are also clamps that hold the cable from sliding back and forth. Apply a little bit of pressure to the hood latch until this starts moving. So we wanna just let that loose. To make sure that your cable is under tension, and then go ahead and tighten down that first clamp and everything else just kind of falls together after that. The installation and grommet look pretty good, but we better make sure that we test it about 11,000 times to make sure that it works just the way we want it to. Works like a champ. And that's a job well done and a whole video done without any music. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and want to see more like it. And as always, thanks for watching.